Hey, my brother. My name is Ed Baxter. Let me introduce you to Betray to Badass. This is my main flagship coaching program. And this program gives you everything you need to turn your betrayal situation around in 14 days or decide to move on even faster without dragging her to couples counseling, without begging her to stay or waiting for her to be confused, to be unconfused or jumping through her hoops to show her you've changed, even if you're dealing with narcissism. In fact, all of these things will lead you down the wrong path. Unless you're dealing with narcissism, then you're in a different boat. But I deal with that quite frequently, so you're also in the right place. So the outcome is simple. It's to get you out of your head and into your power as fast as humanly possible so you can have peace, love, and loyalty at home or to move on without creating unnecessary conflict or harm to your family. But before we dive in, here's a little bit about me. I have a Bachelor's of Science from Virginia Tech in Industrial and Systems Engineering. Now that, that major focuses on if process efficiency, documentation, and getting things to be really efficient. And I was an industrial engineer in the concrete industry for about 12 years before I started building programs. So this program, you'll see everything is science-based and everything that I do is evidence like we have results. So I had my own betrayal situation back in 2015, but I am now remarried and I've used all the principles that I've learned and vetted out in my own marriage. And it is an absolute wonderful marriage. We are, uh, my wife's name is Alicia, and we have a son named Lucas, and he's now six years old. And um, yeah, I couldn't be happier, neither could she. I'm not a psychologist or a therapist, and that's by design. I decided not to go into that vocation because I didn't like the way they were treating people. Oftentimes, you just sit on the couch and bitch for an hour, and then they'll give you like one little insight or one little thing to do, when really guys just need a game plan. When I was going through my betrayal situation, I went to a therapist, and it wasn't helpful at all. I knew more than the therapist. And oftentimes, guys in this program will tell you that they learn more from a couple of weeks in this program than years of therapy. Now, I've built Genuine Attraction into a multi seven figure business in just two years. Um, and the reason I tell you this is not to brag, but to tell you that this program works. And that's why the business is doing as well as it does. If you're not running a good business, you're going to get bad reviews. And you're going to get tanked on Facebook and everywhere else. So you can't run a successful coaching business if you're not doing the right things. And again, I build evidence-based programs that are fast, efficient, and simply work. Yes, everything I do works. I'm not going to experiment on you or your family. Everything has been vetted by thousands of people who have come before you. And I care deeply about your situation. Again, this is personal to me. This I've gone through this myself. I will never make programs where you are anonymous in a home study course I mean, unless you truly want to be. If you want to be, want to hide, that's fine. But I, I want you to be involved with the guys and the community that I've created for you. So here's a little bit of why I created this program. You know, men are getting slaughtered out there. And it kills me to see it. You know, I was, I was one of them. I was betrayed in 2015. I have a son, Logan, from my peer, previous marriage, but he's with me now full time. And it was, it was the most difficult thing that I've ever gone through. Um, it was... I equate it to probably being the most painful situation outside of losing a child. And if you're reading this, then you know what I'm talking about. And, you know, my mother cheated on my father constantly throughout the 80s and early 90s. So I've been living around this my whole life. Um, and I, I like to say that I was born to do this work. So with the engineering mindset and the experience that I've had and the guys that I've taught, coach, um, you're in the right place. And, you know, my dad did his best to make her happy, but he just resigned himself to just sticking it out for his kids and until he couldn't take it anymore in 1993. And they got divorced and they moved hundreds of miles away just so he wouldn't have to run into the guys that she was messing around with. And so he didn't have to deal with her. And it was humiliating for him. And it was indescribably painful for us boys to see this happening, to see my mom dating all these guys. And it's because he wasn't a high value guy. He didn't, he didn't have a lot of high value for himself. But this really wasn't his fault. You see, men have no idea how to approach relationships. They have no idea how to lead without being a dictator. They have no idea why women go after some men but not others. They have no idea how to connect with her in a way that makes her feel heard, understood, and to take him seriously. They have no idea how to get her to trust him. They have no idea how to turn her on. They have no idea what it takes to have a woman adore and admire him. And they have no idea how to keep it in the honeymoon phase, definitely which is the promised land. That's where we want it to be, right? How it was in the beginning, all the way to the end. And because of this, women are more and more dissatisfied with their husbands. They don't want to sleep with them. They don't want to be romanced. They would rather scroll endlessly on TikTok or Instagram. And worst of all, these women don't know why. And that's a problem. 
which leads her to say, I'm confused or I love you, but I'm not in love with you and generally not being very nice to him anymore until eventually she tries again with another man or betrays the guy and simply leaves her husband. He asks her what she needs and she has no idea. She just knows that it's not working for her. It's literally the blind leading the blind, but there's good news. And that is that common problems have repeatable solutions. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to take control of your situation that feels like you have absolutely no control over? To have your wife adore you? To know that you've got this under control, that it won't crush you? And best of all, that it will never happen again? Because she wouldn't want to lose such a man of high value. Like Baxter Troutman here. After one week, he was back in control. So back, uh, Baxter joined back in 2020. And uh, says a week later, it already pulled me out of the dark bowels. I was quickly headed to, right? This is 14 days. 14 days on average is what it takes for guys to get out of the emotional pit. You know, you care about your wife. You care about your kids. You want what's best for them to know you're making the right choices. Either it works out with their mother or not. You want to come out ahead for everybody involved, like Eric Marshowitz here. He says, I'm so proud of you. You are so amazing. This is his wife, by the way, his ex-wife. Hearing you today all calm and relaxed reminds me of the man I fell in love with. See, you can have a good co-parenting situation even if it doesn't work out if you handle the situation properly. Can you put this behind you, crush it in your business, set a powerful example for your children, never repeat this again? Most guys are going to repeat this problem. It is not something that goes away. You know, time doesn't help you heal. That is a lie. Time helps you forget, which makes you think you're healing. But as soon as you're reminded of something, you go right back into it. When was the last time that your ex did something that totally pissed you off? You went right back there, didn't you? So like Donald Jackson here says, if it feels amazing to, after finally nine months, be free of the pain and be back in complete control of myself. Yeah, see, nine months he was dealing with this. But it only took him a couple of weeks to turn this around. But you know it's confusing. You don't know the right moves. Do you stay? Do you go? Do you allow space? Do you set boundaries? Do you go to counseling? Do you head straight for divorce? You know, what about mediation? How much is that going to cost? Will you lose your kids? Will you be stuck in legal limbo forever? Or do you nip this in the bud and get clear on your next moves? Like Jeffrey Snow here. The program is an answer to prayer and a lot faster than reading all the books of scripture. The years of research and work gained answers to move forward in this has already been handled by Ed Baxter. So how do you find yourself again? You spent all your energy making her and the kids happy. Maybe you've dealt with tons of her abuse. It's been years since you've been separated, but the pain just won't go away, right? So here's Jason Miller. He was dealing with a really bad narcissistic situation. I get a lot of these guys, probably 80% of the guys that come through this program are dealing with some level of narcissism. I wouldn't say all women who cheat on their men are, but they definitely exhibit the narcissistic traits whenever they're going through the situation just so that they can, they can um, justify their horrible actions against you. And so... You know, Jason Miller, this program works. He's still active in the community. He came in about in uh, 2022. But for all the successes, these men were absolutely stuck. They were just following outdated patterns ingrained by their parents and society about how relationships are supposed to work. It wasn't their fault. You know, they were killing themselves trying to be the best husband, father, and provider they could. But for their wives, it simply wasn't enough. Nothing was ever enough, no matter what they did. You see, they didn't know what was wrong. So she made a guess and it didn't work. So she tried again and it wasn't enough. And all the while, you break yourself and become subservient to her constantly moving goal proof post of not doing enough to make her happy. And again, she doesn't know. She, she's just miserable. She don't know why. And she, she puts it on you, right? And so it's the blind leading the blind and it's not your fault. Not in the sense that you knew what was going on and you chose not to do it. It's, it's not your fault in the sense that you had no idea what to do and you don't just don't know what's going on. You're confused. So most guys don't know how to demonstrate how, how to be a high value guy and how to live and behave in such a way that she wants to stay with him and follow his lead and trust him implicitly. So men get stuck in a spiral of not doing enough when all they really want is a woman who admires, adores and yearns for deep intimacy. But she doesn't because he fall, he fails in one or more five key areas. One, He's overly fearful, which leads to obsessive behavior, conflict, and pushes his wife away. All this begging and pleading to try to get her back and try to give it another chance to get these commitments from her are false. Like she doesn't, oh, she doesn't care about the commitment. Obviously, that's why you're here. You know, he does, or two, he doesn't have a plan to protect, in place to protect his custody legally or financially. Now, I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not going to give you 
legal advice. I have to say that, but we know the right steps. We know the right moves to, to protect yourself. The problem is the guys get completely slaughtered in court. They get slaughtered in everything, and we got to protect you. We don't want to beat her down. We want to have, we don't want to escalate things. We want things to go through peacefully. If we can avoid it altogether, we will. But we always prepare for the worst, just in case. Number three, he can't see through his wife's mixed signals. So he can't see if she sh he should try to reconcile or know when it's time to move on. Most of the time, the guy can't see past his own pain. So he's not even looking at what's going on with her. He can't see it. And he's usually being lied to quite heavily and manipulated. So like he can't see any of this stuff. So we teach you what to do. Number four, he rewards his wife for leaving him, for treating him poorly or even cheating on him. You know, if your wife cheats on you and you decide to just, or she just says she's not in love with you and she wants to move on. And then you start doing all, and she starts treating you terribly. And then you start giving her all these gifts, prizes of time and attention and subservient behavior. Not only does it, are you rewarding her for the behavior, you're encouraging her to do it and you're showing her that you're low value. You think a high value guy is going to do that? No, he's not going to put up with that. And number five, he doesn't know how to make himself valuable again in a way that makes him proud of himself and attractive to women in general. He's trying to like chase after his wife instead of trying to just be the guy he needs to be. But the thing is, he doesn't know who that, who that is. So we got to teach you what that is. Oftentimes, men are failing in all the key areas. But again, it only takes one for the whole tower to crumble. So the high value man, right? He's powerful, protective, perceptive, purposeful, and prized. And I'll go through each one of these so that you know what it is. So that you can do something about it. All right. To solve these five problems, I'm going to give you the exact system we've used at Genuine Attraction to help over 2,000 men, all of whom I have personally coached. I have met all of these guys. I've personally coached all of them. I've got the reps in, brother. To go from pain to power in as little as 14 days. Yep. 10 to 14 days on average, you can get your mindset completely flipped around and have this fog of just losing your mind out of your system. Now, the rest of it will take a little longer, but in the, first, in the next two weeks, I can assure you, if you do everything I, I suggest, suggest everything I assign to you, and you do it well, then in 14 days, within 14 days, you will feel in a, like you're in a totally different place. So, number one, you need to empower yourself, re reduce conflict, and be taken seriously. How are you going to turn a situation around if you keep making it worse by arguing, pleading, convincing, snooping, threatening, or going around in circles about why she's not in love with you anymore? And pretty much demonstrating you have no power control over the situation. Most men attempt to show their wife that they're changing or try to get her to go to counseling or to make up for 10 years of resentment in just a month and to try to win her back. And it all falls on deaf ears. Why? Because she doesn't want to. She doesn't believe you. She doesn't trust it's real. She sees you as weak and oftentimes doesn't even like you. So how do we turn this around? So when you're doing these big gestures, vacations, Getting a housekeeper, showing her you've changed, all she sees is your weak attempt to manipulate her into coming back and to convince her to go back into a situation she wants to leave. You know, the bird's out of the cage. You're trying to convince the bird to go back into the cage. The bird doesn't want to go back in a cage. We have to show her that you're not a cage. You're the land of milk and honey and lots of worms for her to eat. You know, that's where she wants to be. You have to demonstrate that, that's the, that you're the promised land, not the cage. And you see power is self-evident. You don't need words or convincing. You see it, right? It's obvious. It's action-based. It's truthful. And, you know, if she's cheated, why would you reward this behavior? You're literally telling her that it's okay to cheat, but her life gets better in every way for doing so, which means she's incentivized to cheat again. And this needs to change, like yesterday. We need to stop her if she's been controlling you with guilt, shame, blame, intimidation, or interrogation. A lot of these women are master manipulators. And if you think you're going to get around this without learning about how to get around manipulation, it's not going to happen. She's just going to take you to the cleaners. And if she can manipulate you, then she won't see you as powerful. And if she doesn't see you as powerful, then she can't respect you. And if she can't respect you, she can never be attracted to you again, right? If she doesn't respect you, she's not going to be attracted to you because women are not attracted to weak men. They're attracted to strong men. And if she doesn't respect you, the conversation of reconciliation or cooperative parenting is absolutely over. It's never going to happen. So with the calm, 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 and crush techniques, we're going to show you how to stop the obsessive thoughts in their tracks. Feel calm throughout the day and be able to handle the extreme stress she puts, under, puts you under if she makes legal, financial, or custody threats. 
usually the first place a woman goes is she makes custody threats because she knows that that's that's the way she can get you. So we got to get around that. We got to prevent that because you can't afford it, and neither can your kids. Your kids will be the one that, that suffer if you don't handle this properly. It'll be your kids that suffer. You'll you'll get over it and to an extent. You'll forget, and some of the pain will go away. But you, but your kids will suffer indefinitely if you don't rise up and step into your power and handle this properly, like I show you how to do. Then they're going to suffer ultimately. And I hate to say you know do it for the kids, but if you if you don't have kids, thank God. But if you if you are, if you do, then we got to get this around. I have kids, and I saw firsthand what it did to them. So, or my son. Um, we don't want this to happen. So she will no longer, we will get you to the place where she will no longer be the first thing you think about when you wake up and the last thing you think about as you toss and turn in bed at night. We can get this out of your head. You don't have to be, be suffering from these ruminating thoughts all the time. This drive your anxiety absolutely through the roof. 14 days, brother. Maybe 10, probably 10. Imagine two weeks from today, you meet her in person and she makes threats, attempts to manipulate you or is simply just dismissive, but it doesn't bother you at all which is typical of the guys that I work with. And from here, you can actually engage in meaningful conversation that's productive and not become a dumping pile of how everything is your fault and you're a piece of shit. And none of this requires you to argue round and round in circles with her, convince her to go to counseling, talk endlessly about the relationship, or to try to get her to do some flimsy 90-day double down to see what happens with the relationship bargain with her, or even for you to separate. In fact, you separating is the first step at ending it completely. It's a nail in the coffin. So if you can, if you can avoid that and we're going to, I can show you how to do that. That's what we got to do. You see, you can step into your power right now. You can show her that you are not weak, that you matter. You matter, brother. The things that your kids, your life, your finances, everything matters. Like that matters to you. And she's dismissive of it. And that doesn't have, that's not acceptable. You know, we can get you to step into your power. We can show her that you're powerful to take you seriously. Like Dan Badger here, after I'm only, um, I am only a few modules into the, this is the, the earlier version of the program, Move On After Betrayal. And I can honestly say that my mindset, well-being, and life has completely turned for the better. I'm not scared of shit anymore. Thank you, Ed. Genius. So you're going through, I constantly iterate this program. So this program used to be called Move On After Betrayal. And I realized that we're turning these guys into badasses. So I said, we're going, we're, we're changing the name. We're going betrayed to badass. Or Chris is dealing with narcissism. Ed Baxter is an amazing resource for this. He would have your back. If you have a narcissist or borderline partner, then this program is a must to be able to regain your own life and heal and restart your life. As I have tried other things and nothing comes close. Absolutely true, bro. We, we, press, we specialize in this. Or Doug. My life last week was turned upside down. I got my ass kicked by Ed Baxter. He's the real deal. I started the program. All I can say is fucking well. Yeah, so sometimes I will kick you in the dick in the program. I'm just, I'm just not going to hold back. I'm going to show you what's up. Because you need it. And oftentimes I'm thankful. I'm actually, I'm always thankful for it. And um, I want to make, because I, I care. God, why would I else would I get angry? It's not here for anything but to help you. We all are because we've been in this boat, right? Yep, we have. Number two, you need to be protective of your custody, your legal, your financial, and your emotional state. You know, she doesn't want to talk about any of this. She doesn't want to talk about why. She doesn't want to be with you. She doesn't want to give you details about the affair. And most of all, she doesn't want to be held accountable. This drives a man bonkers, which could lead him down a road of snooping, covertly questioning, tracking, stalking his wife. Behaviors you would just never do normally. And But you, I understand because you got to get answers. And so all you're doing is torturing yourself. we got to get this under control. we got to get your anger under control. You know, when a guy loses his mind, all that power he creates vanishes into thin air. And this can lead to a permanent end of the relationship with no hopes of reconciliation. Or, you know, even worse, legal consequences that will keep you paying her for the rest of your working life. You could lose your custody with your children. And, it, you know, you could even land yourself in jail, get a restraining order or order of protection. We cannot, we cannot afford that. You know, if you're obsessing about her, losing her temper, having sleepless, sorrow-filled nights, then she controls you. And you need to learn how to deal with your fears around custody, money, and legal so she can't use these against you. If she doesn't have these tools, then she can't control you. And that means we can step into our power as fast as possible. This will allow you to make logical and, ra and rational decisions. And, you know, oftentimes guys will get into, on an enrollment call and they'll say, I don't want to make a, I don't want to make an emotional choice. And I would say, that's bullshit. This is the most logical choice and rational choice you've made up until this point in joining this program is the same. Like it is the most logical and rational thing you can do. You've been emotional all up, in, all up in this, all up in this time. 
And now it's time to get rational. It's time to get logical. The problem is, I think, is that they're really afraid to step into their power. They're afraid that, you know, they know what's coming. They know there's a little bit of a storm coming and they don't want to step into it. The problem is, is that's the thing that got that. That kind of thinking is what's keeping them stuck. You can't get to the new, you can't get to the way, place you want to go with the old type of thinking. And that's why you join a program like this. So you need to learn about manipulation and boundaries and reveal if and how she's trying to manipulate you. I forgot to put that in here. Let me put that in there. There we go. Imagine being so perceptive of your situation and in control of your internal state that when you're around her, you're not even pretending to be okay. You're actually totally fine. So let's be protective of your legal finances, children, and your emotional state. Protective. Like Cliff here. If you men haven't signed up for Ed's course, you should. I'm only a couple modules in, but holy fuck, I feel amazing. Yep, two weeks, brother. Or Sean. I'm keeping calm when the tension arises and things have changed completely. I was very stunned and about half confused. She went from screaming at everything and putting me down to calmly talking to me, wanting to spend tons more time with me. And yesterday, an issue popped up, and I didn't say a word. And she spent a good hour trying to apologize and rectify the situation. I wait 45 minutes till I even spoke to her without any type of elaboration. And I did it calmly and with a caring tone. But I also said, I'm not moving forward one more inch until you deal with this. And I need it dealt with to my satisfaction, not yours. Or simply carry on as you see fit, and I will do the same. She thought about it for about 12 seconds and said she will have it looked at after it in the next 48 hours. See, this is what this is what happens when you start holding your power and you protect yourself. You can step into your power. You're not you're not afraid of losing everything anymore. Or Jason Miller. Now I've got Jason here again because well, he raves about the program all the time. And uh, I really like Jason. I got a good personal relationship with him now because he's been in the, and I'll have a personal relationship with you too. If you're in a program, you're on all the coaching calls, I'm going to get dive into your world. Just like I did here with Jason. That's why, that's why I like talking about him here because I can trust that what he's telling me is true because I've seen him grow over the last couple of years. My mental clarity is back and anxiety is completely in check. Yep. That's what happens when you get yourself protected. You don't have, she has nothing on you. You're good to go. Number three, he doesn't understand her decisions or her motivations, and he's stuck in the nexus of indecision. This is what I call not knowing what you should do. You're just stuck. You're paralyzed with fear, so you don't do anything. You know, oftentimes, men are already beating a dead horse. They just don't know it. They're just afraid to make the right moves. And most of the time, when a wife asks him to separate, she learns when she asks you to separate, she wants to learn how to build a life without you. And so she can either continue her affair or build up a new social support system, a new social network without you keeping an eye on her. That's why she wants to separate. That's why she says, hey, let's have a trial period of separation so she can go explore the affair without you watching her. Or she can build up a support system so that whenever she does let you off completely, she's got everything already buttoned up. And you're still holding everything together saying, okay, well, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to make new friends. I'm not going to date around. I'm not going to do anything because I'm waiting for her to come back. I don't want to ruin what's going back. All the while she's doing this. And then she lets you off, right? She builds up her support network. Now she doesn't need to hold your hand anymore and she lets you go. And the reason she holds on like this is because of several reasons, but here are like the main six. Because you will lose your mind if she doesn't let you down easy. Or she needs financial support and is afraid to lose all the cash and prizes for you. Or the other guy is not ready to fully commit to her and move her into his house. She's afraid of the legal repercussions of walking away, of moving out. So she'll try to get you to move out. Move out of the house that you paid for. Move out of the house that she doesn't even have a name on. Or she's afraid of her reputation destruction. She doesn't want to be seen as, as the one who cheated. So what she'll do is she'll cause all these fights and stuff. And then get you to be arrested. And then she'll say, oh, he's gone. I had to get out of here. Oh, it's all his fault. Because what she's trying to distract from the fact she's cheating, she doesn't want her reputation destroyed. So what she does, she destroys yours instead. I can show you how to protect yourself against that. She's afraid of, har she's afraid of harming her children. So she'll stick around just for the kids and she'll pretend that she still wants to be with you, give you consolation sex. You know what consolation sex feels like. She's just laying there and you're like, She's not into it. You don't feel wanted at all. And in some sense, you feel like you're taking advantage of her, but you're so horny and you're so starved for attention. Just do it anyway. You feel miserable afterwards. That's what's going on. So we must see through the veil and really address what is going on here. 
but she won't let you know these things are happening because she is hardening herself towards you. She doesn't want to connect with you. She wants to put up more walls and veils. And if she opens up, she cannot break it off with you. So she's attempting to hold her power over the situation by holding power over you. And this is where most of the gaslighting lies are coming from. So she holds on to you just enough to ensure her safety and security. And she tries to let you down easy. And the mixed signals will emasculate and emotionally destroy you while you wait around for her. And, you know, most guys wish she would just be straight up. And she won't. She will never be straight up and tell you the truth. It's just never going to happen. And you're not going to force her to. So we have to act. And I'll show you what's going on. I'll, I'll reveal what's happening. And he doesn't want to be a provider if he's also a lover. I mean, do you really want to provide all this cash and prizes and favors to her if she just does, if she want, doesn't want to be with you? No. It's like a bait and switch. That's part of the package. You want her to want you. That's the whole point of being together. You're not a roommate. You're not just a surrogate. You know, why should she, why should the other guy get all the benefits of your wife while you get none? You know, why? I know you feel used and it's because you are being used and you need to see through the situation so you know you're making the right moves at the right, exact right time and to put your mind at ease. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to perceive what's really going on? Perceptive. It's perceptive. Ed Whiskey. Counseling. A week after I joined the group, shit, I knew more about the shit than she did. Cancel our next session. This is common. Most of the guys coming through this program quit their therapy. I don't tell them to quit their therapy. I think it's helpful for them to have like this sounding board to keep reinforcing what I'm teaching and to make them feel better, you know, to give themselves a place to emotionally vent to. But the counseling is not going to get you through the situation. It's not going to teach you the right things. I think it's good to be able to do it in concert. But if you were to choose one or the other, I'd absolutely, I would absolutely say to choose this one. Tony Deep, this man knows what he's teaching. In fact, take what he teaches, apply it to your own life according to how bad you want it, and it works. Absolutely. He says, thank you, Ed. I'd stand up and vouch for you and your teachings any day of the week. <laughs> Number four. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that, brother. Number four, he does not see himself as prized because, let's be honest, you really aren't a prize. You know, if you don't stand up for yourself, if you can't demonstrate that you're a powerful dude, you, you are going to come off as weak and she's not going to see you as a prize. And that is the unfortunate truth of the situation. So when a man is always trying to make her happy, he's only secure when she's happy. Then he's placed his value solely upon her. He's put her on a pedestal. You know, the whole saying, happy wife, happy life. And if your value is placed completely on her, then from her perspective, outside of her, you have no value in life. So she and she also looks at you and like. Yeah, I'm not worried about him getting with another woman. There's nobody else that really wants to be with him. And this is horrible. She needs to see that other women find you valuable. It's a sounding board like, hey, you got a valuable dude. These women are checking you out, checking her out, checking him out. And you know what? Usually she's right. Because who's banging on your door for your attention if you're acting like this? Especially if you're acting emotionally out of control and chasing after your wife. How are you going to demonstrate to your high value man when all your value is placed on her? It's like, I have no value. She has all the value and I must keep her to keep the value in my life. And part of you knows this, which is why you lose your mind when she leaves. It's like you've lost your entire world because you have, because all your value is placed on her. By chasing after her, letting her run you down and subjugating yourself to her, you are demonstrating that she's making the right decision to leave you because women need to be with a strong dude to protect her children and to have the children with the right guy. And if you're doing this, you're showing her that you're not the right guy. You know, how are you going to be the best officer for you where you don't even see yourself as a prize? You're telling her, I'm not worth anything, so don't stay with me. You see, confidence comes from competence, and competence comes from conquering your fears and trying and trying again until you achieve. That's where confidence comes from. It's not something you pretend to have. You know, in fact, if she always saw you this way, there's a good chance she wouldn't have cheated. Or you would have dumped her for somebody better early on when you were dating because you wouldn't have put up with all her bullshit. So you wouldn't have been cheated on. You either wouldn't have been cheated on because she would have really liked you or you would have got it with somebody else who was actually loyal. So this program makes you cheat proof from now on if you follow what we say. And I'll show you how to demonstrate to everyone in your life and especially yourself that you, in fact, are the prize. But you're not going to believe it until you start getting out there and crushing it. So we got to show you how to do that. So I'll show you how to go after and conquer a life in a powerful way. What it means to be a high value guy. And become the guy she regrets cheating on and would absolutely kick herself for leaving. <laughs> that doesn't mean she'll admit to it, but they always do. And wouldn't you like to be prized and adored and admired for once? Wouldn't you like 
her to just come after you for sex all the time because she just can't get enough of you? Like Josh here, he rediscovered his value. So about 10 days ago, I signed up for his program. I'm here to tell you that if you put in the work, this program will change your life fast. Do yourself a favor and make the call. Thank you, Ed, for this life-changing program. Thank you for taking it seriously and putting in the work, brother. You you deserve it. And Matt here, who's valuing his time, to spent tremendously. So I'm in the program. Been a, so Matt came in. He, he didn't join the program because he's trying to save something. He tr tr joined the program because he couldn't get over it. And so I've been in the program. It's changed, it has been set. It has been self and life changing in just a, just a short amount of time. It's well worth the investment of time and money. I've spent it on car and hobbies. How much more I realize should I spend on my mental, emotional health and having healing and a better life? So, yeah, Matt, Matt came in just to get over it and he did just a few weeks. Or David, who stopped chasing women and now they chase him. Spent a month for a change. My life almost, it's been, I've been in it a month and my life changed almost overnight. Best money I've ever spent. Yep, I remember you, David. Like to see you in the program again. You've been out for a while. I'd like to see you. I guess his life is awesome now. Sometimes that happens. Like I don't, I don't see guys anymore because they're feeling great. They don't want to. They're just like, well, I don't need to be. I don't need to be in the community anymore. But then they'll pop up again a couple months later, and they'll show us like this hot girl he's dating or something. Number five, he is not living his life for the bigger purpose. You know, women ask men all the time, "Hey, where's this going?" He thinks she means, "When are you going to commit to me?" In a sense, it does. But more importantly, it means, "Hey, big boy, how do I fit into this life you're creating?" Are you creating a life based on a bigger vision? Are you doing, why are you doing any of this? What's the point of it all? Why did you get married? Why did you have kids? What kind of legacy are you trying to leave? What business are you building? What kind of impact on the world are you leaving? Most guys are completely asleep at the wheel with when it comes to these questions. They don't know why they're doing anything. They're just trying to escape from pain. So when your world crumbles, then in this is because she doesn't want to be with you anymore. It's a massive tell that you don't have a bigger vision other than just being with her. And this leads to her respecting you less and less as you demonstrate lack of emotional self-control, lack of self-respect, reward, rewarding her for disrespecting you, trying to get back your mission of happy wife, happy life. Because you have no other mission than I can't let this marriage fail. Just for that. You know, it's like this ego thing. The guy's like, I can't let this marriage fail. And I'm like, well, why? It's like, I don't know. I just can't. It's like, he just doesn't want to feel like a failure. But the thing is, is oftentimes it's the best thing that ever happened to you especially if you come to a program like I have, your life's going to absolutely turn around 180 degrees in just like two months. It'll be, it'll be ridiculous. But the problem is, see, you failed yourself a long time ago. You didn't value yourself at all. So like women do, they are a reflection of you. See what's going on here? She's just showing you how you view yourself. But what if you had a vision so compelling, so on point, so mission critical that it contextualized not only the women that are in your life, but the way that people treat you, the way you treat your body, the way you treat your finances, the work you do, the businesses you want, the way you parent your children, so forth and so on. You see where I'm getting at here? Can you see how things would be different if you were so conscious and deliberate in your behavior, motivation and desires? Can you see how she could trust your conviction and commitment to follow your dreams, make money, provide value to the family? Can you see how a man who has that conviction is trustable? Can you see a man who has that perspective is reliable? You see, if you're swayed by her all the time, how can she rely on you? How can she trust that you're going to do the right thing when she's so emotional? You're not. You're going to capitulate. Just like, a, just like when you give in to a spoiled child. And finally, can you see how having this gives you the perspective on how you need to approach your situation in your life? For good of both your children, your wife, and your legacy? And for you? This is what it means to be a high value man living with purpose. Like Sean, two months in, would highly recommend it. I was spinning before I joined. Victor, no guru, only been in the program three days. That being said, the information of work from three days has been considerably more than what I was able to do on my own for nearly two months. I've been in counseling twice a week, reading every book, watching videos, just grinding through it. Wish I had known of this program months ago. Highly recommend it as a great investment to yourself. That's, that's quite typical. Guys will say the two big things that guys tell me when they join the program are one, this is way better than counseling. And two, holy shit, Ed, it's like you've been in my living room for the last 16 years. Every day, I hear this. Every day on my coaching calls, every week on Sunday, I hear it. It's, it's just, and that's just because we know what we're doing. We know what the problems are and we know the solutions. So I'm happy to hear that. Like when they say that, I'm, I feel very proud of myself that I've been able to do this. So the big question now is, are you ready to turn this around? Are you ready to be powerful? Are you ready to protect yourself? Are you ready to be perceptive of your situation? Are you ready to prize yourself? And are you ready to live your life with a purposeful intention? 
So here's the deal. There is an app called the Genuine Attraction app. You can download it on the Play or App Store. You can find it right now. You can go check it out. But you won't have access. You'll have access when you join the program. And the program is within the app. It's the actual curriculum is about 30 hours long. There's templates, downloads, examples, um, everything you need to get yourself from pain to power in the next couple of weeks to take you from betrayed to badass in the next two months. It's a big program. There's a lot to learn. But again, this is for you. It's an investment in you. So you take the time and you crush the materials and you absolutely will crush it in your life. There's also the community. So in the community, in the pro this is why we have an app. It's because we have a private community. You don't have to worry about Facebook or Instagram banning you or calling her a bitch, even though she was being a bitch. We're also not a man-hating group. We're not man-hating. We're a man-loving group, but we're not a woman-hating group. Everything that we see here, we take with compassion. Um, but we also aren't pushovers. We're not putting up with bullshit. But we're not, also not, I'm not going to ever tell you to be mean to her. I'm not going to tell you to just be res to be revengeful or anything like that. It doesn't help you, really. All the time you spend trying to get back at hers is just taken away from your ability to move forward. That's really all it is. So you really just torture yourself when you do it. But at the same time, you're not going to be pushed over and we're not, we're going to protect you. We're going to do our best to help you with all the protections that we mentioned earlier. And also there's the coach. So you have four coaches or coaching calls a week. Mine's on Sunday night. You're welcome to join me as soon as you join. If you join today then you, and it's Sunday, then which today is Sunday, then you would see me at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight on the call. And we have calls uh, most nights of the week. So I have three other coaches. They have their own specialty, and I, they're very deliberate as to why I chose them. They are all products of this program. You might have talked to one of them. So my coaches are also the guys that do the enrollment calls. I want them to remember where they came from. So that's why they take the enrollment calls. And to also be able to follow you through your journey. So if you're in the enrollment call and they happen to offer it to you, you decide to join, you'll get to, they'll get to follow with, up with you and get to know you intimately. And I'll get to know you too. I mean, you and I will become, we'll have a relationship. You'll get to know me. And I'm always, I'm always available to you in the app. So how do you join? Um, there's a lot of coaching programs out there. Well, I don't really need to talk about them. Um, I know that this program is absolutely the best by far and I've, because I've, I've done the research. And if you want to know more, you can click this blue link here. There's 130 plus. By the time you read this, there may be closer to 200. Video testimonials of guys who've gone through the program at various stages. So you can see not only where the guy was when he joined the program, but you can see him like after each module where he, he was. And you'll see the progress he made. Each module is about a week. So like module two, you'll see two weeks, that type of thing. So what next steps for you if you're interested? The next step is to set up a call. Um, one of my guys will take a deep look at your situation, decide if the program will work for you, and to make sure this is something you want to do. So you click this blue link here and you set up a call with one of our guys, one of my guys. And he hosts this call because I want to make sure that this investment you make is the right one. You know, I don't offer betrayed to badass to everybody because some guys either are not ready, they're not coachable, or simply aren't a fit for this type of intense coaching. I don't want you wasting your money or time. Like, I don't want you to waste your money. I don't want you to come into this program, get this false lift of, oh, yeah, I joined something, and then just never log on and do anything. And so if you get offered this call or this program on the call, know that it's a right fit for you. If my guys, if I, I do not allow anybody in this program, that's not a right fit. That's why we have this call. I don't want you wasting your money. I don't want you to not move forward. So I gate it to make sure that you're going to be serious, that you're going to do the work. The program does work. It's incredibly powerful, but you have to be the one willing to win. And if you aren't in it to win it, then it won't be a right fit for you. But for the right kind of guy, this coaching will be the difference between a life of quiet desperation and one of absolute power. And finally, brother, I'd love to work with you. I really would. We just need you to move forward quickly. Your mental health, your wife, your kids, your employees, your business, your job, they need you. And if you don't rise, their world dies. Take care, brother. I love you. And I hope to see you soon.